Hello, uh, this is the latest project that I've just completed. It's the uh, rotisserie. It's just made to uh, spin this 305 round to get access to the floor. There's a bit of welding to do because of the age and rust. Um, these are based on designs I've got off the internet. I think the title of the designs was the Easy Build Rotisserie. The only thing is I've made a few changes mainly using um, flat plate cut out in a plasma cutter at work that uh, well it reduces the amount of drill drilling holes and cutting bits of box. I know it still is a fairly uh, labour intensive thing to make. There's plenty of cutting, drilling and welding to do to it. It takes maybe about two weeks to build this together but that was just working in the evenings. Um, it's made, a, made mainly out of the, this is 50 by 50 by 6 box section and then the, this figure stuff is uh, 60 by 60 by 4. Uh, quite over engineered for what's on it. 305 isn't exactly very heavy but uh, the main advantage here is that uh, this arm which is connected to the 305 is adjustable. The height adjust allows you to adjust the centre of gravity and um, you know it, depend it changes depending on the car you have on it so uh, if you go to put a Mark II Escort or something different on it'll uh, hopefully be easy to spin round. I'll find out if this, ha this actually works in a few minutes. But this is the back one that's just a, a replica of the front one. The only difference in the two sides is that this front one has a uh, opening to allow the central box that joins the two it it sort of telescopes in and out. Initially the, the plans didn't have that, it was just the box section would have been one length but um, I've sort of changed that to allow the box section to come out through the end. Um, currently waiting for two more caster wheels, I bought four but we decided to put uh, th three on each side um, to make it easier to roll around the shed when there's no car connected. These uh, leveling jacks things they're not really going to be needed with this caster wheel. It has a, a wee brake on it. Although it is lifted off the ground because the car is currently on axle stands at the front. But um, I take them off at some time. The uh, thing that stops the whole car spinning around is these, this brake pad arrangement. Just this um, this middle bolt here clamps on on the the, the pad, which just creates friction with this disc and it, and it holds it tight and I tried jumping up and down on it when it was when we were building it and it, it holds fairly well um, the ram here jacking the, you know, jacks the car up to a certain height and then this wee small bit of box section here um, if the ram fails it, it was put in because I didn't want to spend money initially on rams but these are second hand engine crane rams which do the job fairly well. They're rated to 8 tonnes. Um, but this piece of box section here is um, a fail safe. Should should the ram actually fail, can, well this this will be... It has certain, there's certain holes where it will engage. This one here for example. So the car can't fall any further lower than that there Mark. This back one is the exact same as that. Um, yep, the car is just sitting on the axle stands at the front because it, it, it mounts to the back bumper here. Well, that's not actually how the back bump, bumper mounts. It would mount on these here bolts, but they've sheared off uh, when I was taking the bumper off. Uh, them were just holes provided in the body, although I've had to drill them out to 11mm to put the bolt through. You'll never notice though when the car's in the bumper's put back on it. Um, that's the uh, rotisserie in its completed state. We'll get the car spun around now and see how it works. Circuit the jack of the car up the front. Tighten up the lead screw. Pump the jack. Put it on.
the car is held in place with these brick padded um, not much to do, you just to loosen it off, you put the 17mm spanner on and loosen the bolt that should be the car free to spin spin a bit more and then there's one on the same place in the back uh, side of the uh, device um, so just loosen it here and that's the car now ready to spin Same on the back. Oh, at the moment the, uh, the car is not at the right angle to work on. I was working on it last night. I've, so far I've stripped the under seal from this lower part of the uh, floor. So that's the passenger side. Um, just the other side to, or just to continue and keep doing it. I'm still needs done. And then uh, it should be ready to get sandblasted. Uh, I'll just give a quick demonstration of the way I'm burning the underseal on the car. <laughs> <laughs> 